there fellow webmaster, I'm Christian and I'm excited to have you back here on Rackner TV. If you've been following along, you know that we've covered some ground on installing Docker and WordPress using Linux commands in our recent videos. But today we're taking things up a notch. In this video, we're going to explore how to install WordPress using a Docker Compose file along with linking it to your own domain name and generating an SSL. Also, please know that this tutorial will assume that you already have a server running Ubuntu version 22.04 and a registered domain name to host your site. Also, make sure that you've already pointed your server's IP with your root domain with an A record and an alias of www, which we already demonstrated in several of our videos on this channel. But if you haven't already, just check out our tutorials about linking a domain name to your server IP and how you can order a VPS with Rackner. Just make sure to select Ubuntu 22.04 and make sure that your VPS plan has at least one gigabyte of RAM. Now that we have the prerequisites out of the way, let's go ahead and start with our discussion. It may sound a bit comprehensive, but fear not. I promise you, if you follow along with me and simply copy and paste the commands that I provide you, it will be as simple as a walk in the park, a tech park. And guess what? All the commands will be conveniently waiting for you in the description down below this video. So check them out before we begin. Now, before we get our hands dirty, let's first discuss the exciting world of Docker Compose. Imagine having the ability to package your entire website along with the dependencies, configurations into one nice, neat little bundle. Docker Compose makes that dream a reality and it does it with just a single YAML file. And you can define your application's entire environment. It's like setting the stage for your website to shine. But hold on, why is it such a big deal? Well, picture this, your website set up consistently across any environment every single time. That means no more compatibility headaches. And when you're ready to expand, scaling is as easy as sipping on your morning coffee. Oh, and did I mention the security boost? Your site is isolated from the host system, which is like giving it a fortress to call home. But wait, there's more. Docker Compose lets us seamlessly build in our own domain name and SSL certificate. Having your unique domain name adds a touch of professionalism. And SSL, well, it's like locking the front door to your website and laying out a welcome mat for your visitors. It's a win-win. So let me go ahead and share my screen and we'll get into this tutorial right now. Okay, so let's start, of course, with logging in and updating our server with this command. Please keep in mind that this may take some time, so please just be patient. Once the update is done, let's go ahead and install some Linux tools that we will need in the future. And if you get a message saying that some of these already exist on your machine, that is totally fine. Just disregard and continue on. Next, let's go ahead and configure our Ubuntu firewall. Ubuntu comes with the UFW, the uncomplicated firewall, and it is inactive by default. We need to allow some ports so it will not interrupt our connection by running the following command. Now, let's enable our firewall with this command. And when prompted, hit Y to confirm. Now, let's see if our firewall has been configured correctly by running this command. Next, let's go ahead and set up or install Docker and Docker Compose. And let's get started by running the following commands. Ubuntu 22.04 ships with an older version of Docker. To install the latest version, this command will import the Docker GPG key. When you encounter an error or notice, just ignore it. And now let's create a Docker repository file by running the following command. Now let's refresh the system repository list with the latest repo that we just pulled up by running the update command once again. Finally, we can now install the latest version of Docker and the other versions required for our setup. Now let's get started with some configurations in our system before we move on to creating our Docker Compose file. So I will do the whole Docker WordPress installation in the forward slash OPT directory. You may choose a different location like forward slash var or forward slash home, whatever suits your needs. To get started, run the following commands. These commands will create and navigate us to the opt forward slash WordPress directory as the baseline directory for our project. Next, let's create some folders to direct our system where necessary. To do this, run the following commands. 
Next, it is time to create our Docker Compose file. To do this, run the following command to create and open Nano Editor. And then download this file. Extract to your local machine and make sure to change the appropriate values such as the domain name or the RacknerTV.com to your own. Please check the link down below in the description if you want to follow along. Now paste the code into the nano editor file and then save the file by pressing control plus X and then entering Y when it prompts you. The next step is to make the environment file for our variables used in the compose file. So let's go ahead and create and open the environment file for editing by running the following command and paste the following code into it. But feel free to replace the values with ones that suit you. After doing this, same as earlier, when you're done editing with Nano Editor, save the file by pressing Ctrl plus X and then entering Y when it prompts you. Now that our configuration files are complete, it is time to start and launch the containers using our Docker Compose file by running this command. This process may take a while depending on your internet speed and server resources. Once the process is complete, open up your domain name, https forward slash forward slash domain.com, for example, in your browser and complete the WordPress installation. Add your preferred credentials and then that's it. As you can see, we've installed WordPress, which is served through HTTPS, which means that we have successfully set up the SSL certificate along with our website. And there you have it. Your WordPress website is now live, running on Docker containers with your own domain name and SSL. Trust me, the satisfaction is real when you see your hard work come together seamlessly Furthermore, thank you for joining me today. If you're hungry for more web hosting insights and tutorials, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Rackner TV. And don't forget to visit Rackner.com for more information about our hosting solutions that we can help elevate your websites to the next level. And remember, we're not just hosting your websites, we're Rackner.